I'm sitting in this car and it's dark when I'm making this video. You can't even see me in this video, bait. You can see me if I lean in. You can't really see me in this video. But I decided to shoot a video in the dark so I can have something to do while I'm waiting. And because I felt like it's a pretty good metaphor for where a lot of you are right now. A lot of you are in the dark. Most of the people who are in the dark who really need to see this video are off watching something else. Either watching something with a lot of violence in it or inappropriate um, suggestive content not for children. You can fill in your imagination is what I'm talking about. And one thing where you really are in the dark is where you think you have to be hard. You don't have to be hard. Strong, yes. Long-suffering, yes. Have endurance, yes. Flexible, yes. Just like in the martial arts, they say it's good to have strength, flexibility, and endurance. You need that spiritually. You need that mentally. You need that in your career. You need that in your finances. You need that in your health. You know, you need that in your um, your weight. You need that in every aspect of your life. Strength, flexibility, and endurance. But you don't need to be hard. Because things that are really hard are stiff. And sometimes all they have to do is come into something that's just as hard or harder and they break because they don't yield. That's how some people end up in jail trying to be hard. And some of you are being told that you need to be hard. You're being told you need to be hard by people that you respect. People that are authority figures even. People that you should trust to be paragons of wisdom. People, there are people that are even older than I am at the time of this video. I'm probably telling you you need to be hard. Some of them are male, some of them are female. Some of them may be your auntie, your uncle. Some of them may be your coach, your teacher. Some of them may be your boss, your friend, your lover, whatever. Telling you that you need to be hard. And you don't need to be hard. You need to be flexible. Sometimes it's best to use a soft answer to turn away wrath. That can save you. Let's say you're surrounded by 12 people. And you're not the guy who found the Aikido. They want to beat you up. Or they're just in a bad mood looking to beat up anyone. And you could get through the situation by just saying, Hey, what's up? Or apologizing. Saying, hey, I'm sorry. And avert disaster. And avert having to fight against 12 people. But see, if you're bound to being hard, you won't back down no matter what. And you end up in a hospital or worse. Or even worse, you find a way to manage to end up killing all 12 of them. So now you're going to jail for 12 murders. Well, let's say you get away with it. But see, this is the thing. When you act in the wrong and you know you acted in the wrong, you're going to feel guilty. Not unless, of course, you're a complete psychopath and no video I make or nothing anybody else says, no scriptures that you've heard before can reach you anyway. But you think you have to be hard. You don't have to be hard. Being hard is not the end all or be all. It's not going to make you any better. Is there hard training in the martial arts? Yes. Is there, you know, hard aspects to contact sports, combat sports? Sure. But, you know, if you people to think that aggression is what wins everything, that's not how life really works. It, it, it doesn't work in the long run. And ultimately, your, your aggression will come back to harm you. Ask the Spartans. That's your homework. Go do some research on why Sparta fell. 
as the Spartans were being hard, got their civilization eventually. Are they still here? No. Out of the civilizations that fell to the more aggressive people were civilizations where they weren't flexible. They weren't flexible. They weren't flexible enough to adapt to the changes that they saw. So that's how some of them felt. Not all of them, but some of them. Now that doesn't mean that people who are not able to be strong, flexible, and enduring deserve to be at the mercy of others. No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is look inside yourself. These people who are trying to force you to be hard or tell you that you need to be hard in order to survive or to make it or whatever. They're teaching you to be a psychopath. Says the man who's sitting here in the dark. So I look, I know I look crazy. I tend to look crazy sitting here in the dark telling you that you don't have to be hard. The most influential person in human history, whether you believe in his divinity or not, he preached peace, didn't he? He didn't preach to be hard. 